Hey everyone, it's me, I'm here. And today I have a Baba Studios deck haul to share for everybody today. And I'll save all my craziness off um, after the chat um, or uh, after this little deck haul that I have going on here today. And so I got uh, two decks from Baba Studios uh, that I pre-ordered and if you followed my live chats enough. You probably have an idea of which ones that I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> um, the, I'm going to do the first one, and it is the full size of the Bohemian Gothic. Hey, Tigers of Abyss, how we doing today? <laughs> it's been a long time, no see. I know it's been hard. It's been a long, long haul. They say. <laughs> Uh, I do have this deck, by the way, already, everyone. I already have the Bohemian Gothic in the mini deck. I have, let me see if I have that accessible. Yes, I do. Yeah. So I already have the mini deck of, this, <laughs> of the Bohemian Gothic, but I really wanted the full size. Uh, so I'll put that aside so that I could show you <laughs> yeah, I got my decks. I got my decks. I got my decks. I actually wanted to. I, I didn't have any budget, but there was a part of me that wanted to see if I could tag on like the um, Alice Tarot guidebook because they still have the Alice Tarot guidebook available through Baba Studio. I just didn't get to. <laughs> to uh, I just didn't have the funds to tag it on. So, yeah, unfortunately, I'll have to. But there's always going to be next time. Of course, uh, we got the little white book, the Bohemian Gothic, a little white book. Um, I think uh, the the mini Bohemian Gothic had a little white book, too. I just don't remember that one being. It probably is a good little white book, but I just don't remember it being it being like, meh. <laughs> But then it could be my memory. Usually little white books are little white books. Okay. Already the backs are kind of have that um, foiledness a little bit, but not really. They kind of have that um, shiny back. <laughs> but I think the mini the human gothic has a shiny er back. Yeah, yeah. And the backs are different. Oh. Uh, so this is the mini B Bohemian Gothic, and then you can almost see the reflection in it. And whereas the um, the big deck it has a different design on it, and it's not as shiny. So yeah, the little deck is like a little mirror, whereas the big deck is not. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to edge this big deck in black as well. I just... <laughs> Just I'm pretty sure I'm going to edge it as, <laughs> in black. It's always good to edge in black when they have these sides. Although I think I have seen somebody edge this deck in silver. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> um, I ha was very turned off by the mini deck because the mini deck, um, these images are just so fantastical and they're big. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I love the mini deck, but the big images are just so fantastical. The, the it's like it kind of pops out at you. And so I love the mini deck, but man, the big deck really does really pop out. And you can see all the fine little details. There's a lot of little details in this particular uh deck. Of the Victorian Romantic. And I think. Uh, whoever owns this deck. You, you all know that there is a lot of detail. And a lot to be seen. In this deck. Although I. Th thought there was an extra lover's card. Oh that's in the back. <laughs> I was going to say. I thought there was an extra lover's card. He's just in the back. Back back. <sighs> yeah, it does bring out the background, uh, Tiger's Abyss, because um, I do have the mini deck. Hmm. 
Uh, hold on. I have uh, somebody being crazy. Okay. Craziness over. But yeah, this particular version, I see the images just kind of pop. The background pops, the foreground pops. It really looks good in the camera. Actually, I'm looking in the camera and I'm looking at it upside down going, whoa, 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 these are pretty images. Oh my goodness. I think this is going to be one of my new favorite decks. I Not that I didn't like the mini, but I just felt like a lot of those those vibrant details were lost in the mini versus um, this version that I'm already seeing like, oh my God, the moon, the sky, the just the little fine line details that, that makes a deck a deck. Anyways, everybody's seen, uh oh, everybody has seen the Bohemian Gothic, I think. Um, I just wanted to do a quick flip through. <laughs> I wanted to do a quick flip through the Bohemian Gothic to show you my favorite, one of my favorite decks. Oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully that person won't go away. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to have to look at this deck later, but the deck that I really wanted to uh, everybody to see was the Victorian Romantic. The new Victorian Romantic. I got that one in. The new Victorian Romantic. I've seen some pictures, and I'll give you my opinion after we look at the deck. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, shiny box. Definitely has a very pretty shiny box. It has a very turquoise. Very, very turquoise. Um, I think I've seen it very turquoise in the pictures as well. It almost kind of reminds me of the Prague box a little bit. Mm. Where's my prog deck? Oh, it's downstairs in my backpack. <laughs> my prog deck and I are BFFs. We have an intimate knowing and relationship with each other. If you don't have not followed my channel, my prog deck is definitely one of my top five decks. But <laughs> aside from my unopened prog deck, which I'm not going to open, uh, my prog deck is downstairs. Dang it. I should have brought it up here. Knowing that I was doing a Baba Studios haul, you think I would have been prepared. <laughs> so yeah, the inside is like that turquoise too. Even though it looks very blue on camera, the, the camera actually makes it look more blue than it is. But really, it's that green turquoise color. That gr more of a green turquoise than a blue. Even though the camera here is kind of showing blue versus green turquoise okay let me go ahead into the little white book a little bit oh great i don't know how many copies of this edition is out there because usually when they have like a limited edition they had the title page will have like a well a numbered of editions i'm not seeing any numbered editions here so could it possibly be like the Bohemian Gothic, where they're going to just continue selling the uh, Victorian Romantic. Who knows? We will have to see. We will have to see. Okay, so we have Learning the Tarot in this little white book. I did not get the guidebook to the um, Victorian Romantic. I'm not... I've seen images of the Victorian Romantic before. When did you order your copy? I ordered my copy way back in when they first did their pre-orders back in August, I believe. It was before Halloween because um, they were not sent. I wanted. I bought my uh, Bohemian Gothic and I bought my Victor. <laughs> oh, hi, uh, Raku. But um, yeah, I. It was I think August because when I was. I ordered this, pre-ordered this deck when it was around 66 55 somewhere around that price range. It was the early bird special before October because I know that um, I wanted my Bohemian Gothic to work for October. And then I learned that I have to send Baba Studios more, more money to uh, bring get my uh, <laughs> Bohemian Gothic 
over. So, and I said, oh no, I'm not sending seven more dollars to get my Bohemian Gothic early when I could just work with my mini Bohemian Gothic. So that that's what I did. So I just wait, waited until my Bohemian Gothic came in with the uh, Victorian Romantic. Okay. I think that answers your question, Tiger to Beth. It was a long-winded <laughs> response. I have to get back into the story. <laughs> and that story, but I gotta get back into videos again. I haven't been videoing for a while. And it's been a hard, <laughs> a long haul. <laughs> it's been a long haul. And I'll talk about that later. But like I said, deck, deck. But he <laughs> Baba Studios, deck. Okay. And so in here. They have the tarot reading, um, how to begin reading, seeing a pattern, making a story, reader in a position of trust, tarot spreads, the three card spreads, um, and then they got um, two Victorian romantic spreads, romantic or relationship spreads. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get it in November. Looking back in Fort Spread, uh, which is a really cool one, actually. Uh, I would expect Kelly when she gets her. I think she ordered this deck. I'm not sure if Kelly from Truth and Story ordered this deck, but I'm pretty sure whenever she gets her deck, if she got this deck, she would do the spread for everybody. So, unfortunately, with this setup right here that I have on my computer, I'd be lucky to even fit this in, but I'll see if I could fit this one in into the camera so we'll see we'll see and then oh this one might be better which is um so this is the should be the romantic or relationship spread right here which i'm actually very curious about because that's like like one of those number one things i do readings about all the time and then this one is in here is probably one i could do an example of is looking back looking forward spread which is this one this one I think I could fit into uh, the, this camera setup better. So I might have to do this one, looking back, looking forward spread. So, yeah, I think if we could fit one of them in the camera, that would be good. And so they kind of have some of their... They have very basic keywords on their car um, in this guidebook, which I totally expect because it's not the full-fledged guidebook uh, that you would get if you got it from Baba Studios. And of course, it, it's very um, writer weighty, keywordy um, guidebook that you're going to get with this. Although I'm, well, that looks very nice. I, I like that part. The court cards look like they're a little bit more in depth. Like the pages is discovery, including self-discovery, exploration, study, enthusiasm, enthusiasm, keenness risk taking beginnings news messages the beginning of learning of study issues around experiences effectiveness both of which may be a, a, a little lacking oh i think that would be a fairly easy <laughs> first time mer's uh understanding of the court cards you know it's very very basic but it's a little bit like straight to the point which is not too bad when you're when you're a beginner, you kind of want straight to the point little white books if you wanted a little white book with your deck. However, I would highly almost recommend, unless you're getting the full guidebook from Baba Studios, I would highly recommend for beginners never to start off with a Bobby's Baba Studio deck just for the price alone. It's not to do with the fact that uh, Baba Studios doesn't make great decks. I almost, <laughs> I love ba Baba Studio decks and I am a hoarder of Baba City effects, but I just think that when you're doing, <laughs> oh, it kind of has that smell, but I'll talk about that in a second. But when you're doing uh, first time readings and first time stuff, I just think that it it's good to get a, a basic shelf deck wherever bookstore you want to, just to get your feet wet in tarot to see if you like it versus um, of buying a hundred dollar decks <laughs> is kind of my, my lecture is. I've seen the backs. Okay. The backs uh, are a little bit more that annoying. I call this annoying blue, which is really ultramarine blue or that bright blue. I thought it was a more Persian blue when I saw it in 
people's pictures, but this is actually really like an ultramarine blue or like that annoying blue. And I saw that the blue was really bright and I'm like, oh. not that I don't like the backs. I wish the blue was a little bit more of a Persian blue or a deeper blue versus a ultramarine blue. Uh, ultramarine blue is very beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I just think, whoa, backs. Woo. It's kind of like that bright. Hurt your eyes a little bit. <laughs> it's beautiful blue though. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the cards. It's the full card. Oh my goodness. I'm going <laughs> to... I don't know if I should talk about the cards a little bit. Oh my goodness. They're very pretty. I love uh, the iridescent um, foiling. I don't think my camera's picking it up at all. I guess it is a little bit. Let me see if I can. Yeah, a little bit there. But not like uh, boldly. It doesn't show the foiling boldly, but it's very nice. I really like that magician. I, it's actually a kind of more like a pencil sketch than I thought it was. Um, I've seen other um, versions of the Victorian Romantic all the time on YouTube and stuff like that. I don't own the older ones because I was kind of waiting for a third edition to come out, which is, it did. But I always thought that these ones were kind of like a photo collage they are probably still photo collage, but they kind of blended it in a little bit softer than I thought they would have been. I don't know what the old editions, how they compared to the old editions, but it's definitely has a lot more softer colors than I thought they would be. I like the Emperor card, too. Although I would kind of associate that with a, like almost a magician card just because of the alchemy table that he has there. But it's really cool. That is pretty. I've always uh, was struck by the beauty of this deck. And I know that they have two lovers cards here, which is really cool. Um, I really like this lovers versus this lovers. Although I think... I would keep both of them in the deck and use them for different readings or different things. Where she looks a little unenthusiastic with her guy with the square haircut. <laughs> Whereas I see that they're more in love here. So <laughs> he does not have a cute haircut whatsoever. And I think she's saying, oh God, I hope nobody sees me. And standing next to this guy with this funny haircut. <laughs> So I think that this one is kind of how I would decide for that one. And I'll just keep both of these lovers in this deck. <laughs> and so, yeah. Oh, this is a beautiful cherry card. I like that purple maroon color. I don't think my camera is actually picking up all these beautiful colors that this deck has. Of course, the strength card is beautiful, too. Ooh, that's a cool hermit. I like his scythe. Oh, and he has the wings and the old father time wings, too. I didn't realize that. Very gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. The Wheel of Fortune. That's a very pretty card, though. Um, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't... I would, I, if I could talk today. <laughs> I think I would need the guidebook to be explained this card for me. I think this card is a little like I need an explanation with this one. Whereas I just uh if I could talk. I don't think I could talk today. But then of course I haven't been filming for a while either. So if I filmed like I was supposed to, I could talk. But I haven't been filming so I can't talk. Okay, Hierophant. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, the ups, downs of fate and fortune, roll of chance, lady luck, freckleness, a stroke of good, bad fortune, an unpredictable event, destiny, cycles of change. 
maybe the guy coming in town is a cycle of change. I, I kind of would need the guidebook to explain this one a little bit better for me. I would want the bigger book guidebook to explain that one to me a little bit better than that. Ooh, ooh. Hello, baby. I like this one. I love this justice card, actually. This is a definitely beautiful, 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 sexy justice card. That is a nice one. Okay. I hate, I'm getting my cards out of order here. That's a pretty hangman. Very interesting because you guys are seeing that right side up and I'm seeing it upside down. And wow. They got the proportions and stuff, right? It looks very, very pretty. Cool. Wow. Oh, this is a cool death card. I don't think I've seen this uh, death card as... Uh, I don't remember seeing this death card, I should say, um, in the older editions. This was like one of those images that I haven't seen in the older edition, so I can't really, my brain can't compare it from what I've seen in the YouTube videos. I just didn't remember this one being as memorable as some of the other Baba Studio death cards, but this is still a beautiful death card all the same with this uh, guy holding the skull, the guy with the scythe, and the babies, and craziness going on here. Temperance. I yeah, this one is like one of the more iconic images of the this particular deck, the Victorian Romantic decks. Uh, this I think is on the all the older edition decks is the Temperance card. And I heard that there's two devil cards. This is the classic one, I think, that uh was in the older editions. And I always liked her. She was there was something very yummy about her <laughs> she's a like indulgent kind of which is really cool i've tried to see this one and this oh my goodness i thought that was a, a dude at first uh, when i first saw this image but now i could see the girl and she's really kind of in love with the devil in a way oh my goodness girl you gotta step away and set your sanders higher hi patrick How's it going? <laughs> the girl got to set her standards a little higher than that. Devil not good for her. <laughs> and I always love this particular tower card. It's always a very beautiful tower card with them and the shipwreck and the feeling that tower moment. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, awesome. I've always liked this one. And this was like one of those, de um, not devil, but tower cards that I've always really loved and I envied. Oh, she's beautiful. Uh, this one's a very, very beautiful card. This is uh, the star card. I don't remember seeing this in the older editions. And I don't have any of the older editions, Patrick, of this deck. I'm just comparing what I know in my memory. <laughs> from what I've seen other people have of the older editions. And so the moon. Wow. That, I, I've seen this moon before. It, this one has always been a very beautiful moon card. Oh, man. I actually like this uh, sun card. with, Even though it has a cherub in it, it has a pretty lady on the horse. <laughs> uh, hi, Patrick. <laughs> you driving around doing errands. I, <laughs> I'm, I would have to talk later but i miss you all i miss you all i can't believe i miss you all so badly but <laughs> stuff happens Ugh. this sun card is beautiful oh this is a beautiful judgment card i wonder if this uh there's a lot of flower associations here in the <laughs> you don't have any baba decks um patrick um my favorite is uh, the Terra Prague, but that's just me. <clears throat> but yeah, the I wonder if in the guidebook they have a lot of explanations with the like the flower symbolism and stuff because I see a lot of flower symbolism in this deck, and I'm 
pretty sure that there has to be a reason for these flowers associations. And I'm not, of course, I don't know because I, my guidebook is just a simple little white book that comes with a deck. That's a pretty world card too. So I'm pretty sure that there is a, a lot of flower associations in the guidebook, big guidebook, if you buy, bought that. I actually like the colors in this uh, Ace of Wands, but it doesn't seem like the Ace of Wands. I've seen heard other people complain about that. I love this as a card, though. Very beautiful card. Two of Wands. That's actually pretty good, Two of Wands. Look in the distance. Kind of balancing her life and her passions. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny. He he's actually kind of quirky in a way. <laughs> okay, no flower associations that you've heard of. You'll let me know if <laughs> can you refresh my memory, but are the most popular what are the most popular Baba decks? I think he's asking. The most popular ones are the Bohemian Gothic, which is Kelly's favorite, um, the Victorian Romantic, and the Prague deck, and the Alice Tarot. Oh, yeah, Alice Tarot. Um, I know that they have also the uh, Mythical Creatures Tarot, too, which I have, the Microm Edition, and I think they're going to come out with the colored one later this year or so. I don't know. <laughs> It'll come out when it comes out. <laughs> but, yeah, this one is kind of... Uh, he's kind of quirky, funny in a way. <laughs> Although I do remember the <laughs> Three of Wands. Romantic, Victorian Romantic by far number one. I, I have seen the, yeah, the Romantic, uh, Victorian Romantic being most people's favorites. I had some really, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep my opinions at the end of the video of what I really think of the Victorian Romantic. <laughs> I love it. Don't get me wrong. I still love the deck, but I'm going to not be a spoiler. But yeah, he's really cool. And four of wands. I'm trying to remember the, uh, the Rider Waite Association sometimes uh, with this deck. Because I know Baba Studios try to stick to the Rider weight. Oh yeah, yeah. Celebratory. Um, I can see that almost. Five wands. A uh, bunch of men arguing over stuff. I actually kind of really like the uh, Six of Wands. This guy, uh, this Six of Wands has always been a very cool one. <laughs> the art is nice. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Patrick. The art is really nice. And I saw Tempe uh, had this deck, and she had her first video on... I think she was the first one on uh, YouTube person youtuber uh tarot youtuber that um posted something about the victorian romantic i'm probably number two i think but tempe um i watched like halfway through her video and <laughs> i just said nope 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 i'm gonna keep the rest of it a surprise <laughs> he has an owie right there he looks like he's the only survivor. <laughs> Lone survivor. <laughs> oh, man. Man, girl, you gotta put down your baby. <laughs> okay, go to the grocery store. <laughs> Have a good one, Patrick. She's got a baby there. She doesn't need to drag him up the hill with her. She could probably tie the baby onto her back and then carry the sticks. <sighs> People these days. <laughs> I like that page. <laughs> it's a nice page. Oh, that's a nice... I, I've seen the Knight of Wands. And I think this is where I stopped my video of uh, Tempe <laughs> when she, she was about here. Although I kind of see this being like, I have to see what the Knight of Cups looks like, but I would associate this more with a Knight of Cups than a Knight of Wands. He looks a little too romantic to be a Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Wands are a little less romantic in my book. They're a little bit more of the adventurer. 
Whoops. She's pretty. As far as the Queen of Wands, she's kind of sassy. I like that. <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing at Tiger's Biz comments. <laughs> Man, he's spoiled. He got all those people singing for him. Okay. The cup suit. Cup suit. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. I really like that one a lot. I would kind of associate that. Okay. I, I have a beef here. I would have associated, been very happy with this one being the Two of Cups. Even though this is a very nice suit of cups. Don't get me wrong. These are both really, really nice. But I kind of see this as a lover's or a two of cups. But then, of course, I can see it being the ace of cups. In a more um, literal sense instead of a figurative sense. So, I get it. She going on a romantic date with some guy that she just met. He looks like he's uh, whining and dining her and giving her flowers, though. So he, he probably ain't too bad for her. <laughs> These little party girls, and they don't know how to keep down their liquor. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> he has the most unenthusiastic face ever. With everybody saying, surprise! Surprise! Happy birthday! Or something like that. And he's just like, uh, man. What did I get myself into? <laughs> just such an unenthusiastic face. Oh, I love this Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. Very, very beautiful. I love it. Love it. Absolutely gorgeous. I have to say that's one of my favorite Five of Cups. Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite Five of Cups now. This is my first uh, Victorian romantic uh, Rose Rose, and I did not get the book. Oh, I wish I did. Uh, got the book because there's some things I have questions about. But man, she's gorgeous. I love her. Love her. Now, this is what I really see as the Six of um, Cups, though. Uh, this one I is one I would see with the six of, associate with the six of cups, two children with a maybe their apple cider vinegar, not vinegar, but <laughs> apple cider, uh, <laughs> sparkling apple cider. That's what it is. <clears throat> oh my goodness! Oh, he made a mess. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. He's just making a mess all over the yard. Let me see. Let me see if I can get out of this. Look at him. He's making a mess. He's making a mess. He's got the art stuff out. He's got the fishing rod out. He's just making the biggest... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the bags too from Baba Studios. I even though I only own one bag from Baba Studio. But yeah, look at him. He's making a mess. He's just making a hot mess all over the yard and on the front lawn. Oh I love the tower card too. <laughs> I, I you missed it, Rose Rose. I talked about the tower a little bit. But he making a big mess. Oh, look at her. She looks so sad. <laughs> Maybe that guy dumped her in the uh, two of cups. That's sad. And the dog says, I'll be a friend, though. <laughs> He's looking at the bottom of the cup to see <laughs> if there's any more wine. He's out of the, the wine. When I order my Prague book, I'm going to order a few of their bags. Yeah, I'm going to... I About the Prague book. I think Baba Studio still sells the Prague... Uh, Tarot Prague in the box, which I am have to save up for. But I don't have that kind of money. Don't have that money for that special edition. <laughs> but yeah, you're looking at the bottom of the barrel. So hoping that there's some wine there. <laughs> Look at her bringing in the new baby. 
Look at her bringing home the new baby. See, look at what we got. It just found it on the street one day. No, <laughs> but it's pretty. I like that card, though. Now, okay, that got to be the most girly dude I've ever seen in my life. And she's a pretty girl. And which one is the page? Her or him? The guy with the crazy bob cut. <laughs> So which one is the page here? <laughs> it's kind of what I want to know. The girly dude or her? I like to think that she is. <laughs> he too sassy. <laughs> okay, the Knight of Cups. Okay, I could see this being the Knight of Cups. He's got all these naked women around him. He's just like, oh my god, I'm in dreamland. <laughs> he looks like he's the happiest guy on the planet. He's looking into the heavens going, thank you. I got all these pretty girls around me. Thank you. Definitely a Knight of Cups. Yeah, I could see it now. I could see it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Queen of Cups here. I love her dress. I want to take her dress and bottle it up and have it as mine. Got to lose about a uh, 40 pounds to fit in that dress and look hot, but I could do it. <laughs> I want her dress though. <laughs> <clears throat> Sipping on his wine while his annoying son is in the background trying to pour top this guy off. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Ace of Swords. Although I have to give it to Baba Studios, they have made their aces very cohesive with each other whereas they did not just have one random sword here they have a theme of still using people in the aces so i have to give baba studios that that they didn't um not make it cohesive they made it very cohesive <clears throat> oh that's a pretty two of swords i like her blue hat <laughs> oh man this is a pretty two of swords, actually. Oh no! Oh no! Very sad. Very, very sad. Three of swords. What is she sad about? Oh no! Sad, sad. Girl gotta get up off the couch and do something. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Making fun of the poor kid. Uh, he's... They have nothing to laugh about. They're all crazy clown kids. Uh, crazy. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful Six of Swords. I like that. It's very pretty Six of Swords here. The guy gonna stick to deal the gold and run. And then take the gold and run. Trying to look behind him and make sure nobody's following him. Sounds like a good idea. Or sounded like a good idea. Eight of swords. Oh, she tied up. She could uh, she adopted by a pirate. She doesn't look like she's uh, in distress, though. Hate <laughs> of Swords is usually like, uh, oh my goodness, I'm in distress. She kind of is like sitting there going, hmm, that's, I probably am going willingly kind of distressed there. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Dang, girl, sleepwalking. Got to be careful sleepwalking on like that. Gonna fall down. Oh. Guy got washed up on shore for the tennis words. Yeah, but oh, he doesn't get washed up by shore. He's being saved by this um, ocean nymph. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that. He's been saved by a fairy nymph or a uh, ocean nymph or whatever. Whatever. These pages, man, they're cracking me up with all the girly haircuts. The 
French. It's probably based on the French stuff style or hairstyle. His dog is not enthusiastic to go hunting with him because he's like a dummy. It's not a gun, it's a sword. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Now I can see that being the uh <laughs> I can see that being the king uh not king of swords, the knight of swords, uh saving the hero from damsel in distress. Even though she's naked. <laughs> king of the knight of swords are coming to save the day. Regardless. <laughs> Ooh, she's pretty. I like her as um Queen of Swords. Got very dark eyebrows. But very, very queenly. I like her the mountainscape she has in the background. <clears throat> oh, he's in deep thoughts. <laughs> King of Swords. Although that really works well for the card, though. Okay, and the last one is the pentacles. So we got the ace of pentacles. Oh, she's a pretty little girl. Look at that. Very pretty. Two of pentacles. I could see that being the two of pentacles. I like that as the three of pentacles. Uh, kids gathering around the sky, making toys or whatever for them. Toy maker. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, she kind of looks like she's overwhelmed in that fluffy outfit. She might have to strip down a few layers. That's a nice Five of Pentacles there. Selling a little crucifixes and pretty um, plants and stuff there. Like I said, um, Tigers Abyss, you better get back on me. What are these plan associations? Gotta get black on me. I'm pretty sure they have some in that guidebook there. <clears throat> That's actually a pretty time accurate uh, and not time accurate but uh, just kind of how I would see Six of Pentacles as uh, somebody giving um, the poor money and stuff and look, it's father doing good work. Very, very pretty with the Seven of Pentacles in her rose garden. That's not really a gardening dress, but I like to think that she's uh, picking the flowers and stuff. Ooh, master craftsman painting this pottery. Pottery painter. And critiquing in the background. The Nine of Pentacles. Oh, she has a beautiful flower basket. Look at her Edwardian style hat and outfit. Uh, yeah, the times in this uh, deck is a little off. Like some of them are like based in like the the oh, I want to say olden times. What would I don't? I'm not very good with my time periods, but I know that they're not in the same time period. Like this is very Edwardian in the early. Um, 20th century, whereas the other one is probably in the more in the mid 18th century France or something like that, 17th, 16th century France and stuff like that. So uh, the time periods are kind of wonky in this deck, but it all works. I like it. And the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, yeah. I thought that was the King of Pentacles, and I'm like, but I'm holding some, some more cards. Ten of Pentacles, pretty like that. Okay, so he's not so girly as some of the other pages, I have noticed. But he's definitely a little bit more luxurious than the other pages. He's sitting on his nice fur robe. <laughs> Aww. Look at this night guy. He, even though he, he probably won, because that looks like a broken lance. And if you broke your lance enough, you, that means you won. Because more points. And so he doesn't like look so into her though. She looks more into him than he does into her though. But when your action is physical. He's more worried about winning than he is about the romance. <laughs> romance is not in his cards. But on bump. 
<laughs> oh, I like her black hair in a strange way. <laughs> With that little pink, uh, not pink, the yellow flower in her hair. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, and I like this king. I actually do like this king. Uh, very kingly with his squire. Valet next to him. It's a pretty, pretty card. All right. But yeah, that's the Victorian Romantic. And all my snotty card comments about the cards. Uh, actually, I love the... Okay, now my final thoughts about the cards, now that I've seen all the cards. I really love the cards. Um, I'm going to have to see what how it does in a reading. But I do love the cards. Some of the cards actually kind of perplex me. Oh, it shuffles nice. I probably should shuffle on camera. Ah, oh, shuffles like my Terra Prague, where it's, I think it's the Carbon Core. Terra Prague has that Carbon Core, that nice, nice forever card sock. And it makes a great bridge. Very great overhand. But yeah, some of my final thoughts about the first impressions about this deck. I really, really enjoyed the cards. I enjoyed the deck. There's some cards that I'm like, um, I would need more of a guidebook explanation. Why they chose the cards. Not because I don't know what the cards mean, but more of the like I would have liked a pretty good explanation why they chose the image that they did. So some of the images I find uh, that could have needed a little bit of a leg up on the explanation. So if you could fork out money for the guidebook that I think the guidebooks like usually 20 runs are like $20 guidebooks. I think after Baba Studios plus shipping. So you're looking at a $30 guidebook in the U S whereas Europe, probably their shipping is not as bad. But if you can afford the guidebook, I think uh, for me, I would say go ahead and get the guidebook. I could not afford the guidebook at the time. I still can't afford too much. Um, can't afford any care decks or any new decks. But this is the year for me of pre-orders. So I think I got most of my pre-orders that I pre-ordered. Um, I think my next pre-order that will be coming in will be the True Black Tarot. And that's, oh, and the Bonestone Tarot that are both going to come in the winter. But other than that, I don't think that I'll have too many other pre-orders coming in. And I don't really have any more decks coming in until I either get more or just say, uh, no. Nah. <clears throat> I think I would, I don't know if I want to get the Terra Prague special bo uh, box edition or not. I love my Terra Prague and it's one of my soul decks, but I'm very happy with where I'm at with my Terra Prague too. I've been wanting to look at, I've been looking at uh, the um, second edition of Terra Prague and finishing my collection, so to speak. But... Uh, <laughs> The second edition, for whatever reason, is overpriced. And uh, when I got my first edition of Tarot Brog, it was actually halfway decent. It, you know, it was halfway decent for what I got. So you only have the Victorian Romantic coming in and the Carnival at the End of the World coming in. So yeah, um, the Carnival at the End of the World, it was one of the decks I really liked and I really wanted, but I couldn't afford it at the time because I already invested my money into other decks. So that was one that I really was look wanting, but I had to let it, that one slide. And whatever happened to that one deck that keeps being postponed on Kickstarter 2? It was like the Majestic Tarot or Mis uh, one of those tarot. I forgot that one. Um, I think uh, Tigers a bit will tell me which one that one is, but they, they keep postponing the start time basically on that one. Okay, so I'm going to do one of these spreads from the G Little White Book. I'm pretty sure if you got the big book, they'll come with the uh, more spreads. 
I'm not sure. So I'm going to do the one where it is the... What is it? Looking back, looking forward spread, which is uh, two cards up and down and two cards on the left and two cards on the right. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Majestic Earth Tarot. No news on it yet. Yeah, that's exactly the one. Uh, I was thinking about. I That was one that I was trying to hold off for or save up for, too. That one was a really cool one. I actually didn't buy too many new tarot decks this year. Um, I think I only bought three this year. Um, even though I have a lot of pre-orders coming in. So... We've got one, two, yeah, we're going to be able to fit in uh, the screen here. Okay. Just barely. Oh, damn. Okay. And this is going to be like a reading for myself a little bit, and I'm going to share some of it with you. I'm not going to share everything of it with you guys, but I'm going to share some, what I'm willing to share, basically. So, Five of Cups is, um, for, according to the guidebook, let me go consult the Little White Book. <clears throat> so, this one is actually in position one, which is where I am now, and I have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the beginning of the physical world, or which is like that start of the physical world. And I have to say that that is very accurate because I am in a place where I'm starting, I feel like I'm starting all over again. You know, like uh, my daughter, oh, this has been a bad year for my, <laughs> me and my daughter and everything that's going on in between. And so this is really just um, starting over again, learning to pick yourself up, brush your shoulders off and starting all over again because I had a really bad start this year. And I was actually planning to doing big plans to expand my channel, uh, work on my J Shadows deck, and arting and arting and all, all this crazy stuff and uh, tarot cards. Um, I actually need to revamp my Patreon page. The whole nine yards. I was really, really on the set uh, path to expand my stuff and. It just kind of was like the rug got swooped from under me and my daughter was doing really, 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 really bad uh, for the first uh, four months. And then now that it's April, things got fixed-ish. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm at a place where I'm starting my world all over again. So that's what that card means, where I am now. Where I want to be is this one. <clears throat> and that's emotions of emotions. I want to be in a place where I can recognize my emotions and let it not overcome me. That's what the uh, Queen of Cups mean. I want to be in a place where I could recognize my emotions, not let it uh, overwhelm me either. So that's kind of where I want to be. See it, feel it, but not let it overtake. And so... <clears throat> three and four is looking back. What should, uh, looking back, what should I take from my past? What should I leave behind? And it's actually very appropriate that it, it was five of cups and 10 of cups. So uh, what I want to take from my past is that I have all this family support. I have all the community support from you, all, you guys. And I got, all this wonderful things kind of was going on. And I should hold on to the things that I know that I have, basically. And then the leave behind all the things that, you know, Five of Cups is all about leaving behind spilled cups or leaving behind the things that were bad and take with you with the things that you've learned, which is the two of cups here and the Five of Cups. So leave the old 
bring in the things that you do have from your experience. Take with you what you've learned from your experience and just recognize you have family and friends here to support you in the meantime. <clears throat> and so looking forward, what should I anticipate and plan for and how my how past experience can help me in the future? That's so nice, Fred. I like it. Two is um, all about balancing your passions, and it's, uh, I should learn to balance my passions with your my tarot and my art, and how I can it can help me in my future is maybe make it work for me, but I can't forget my family and my friends in the meantime. And also, the King of Wands is about thinking about your passions and uh, just keep it my passions in mind still and just keep going forward as well as uh, learning how to balance it out. But don't let it, <laughs> um, the, my passions slip away, but don't allow it to um, <clears throat> overtake uh, what I'm doing too. So it's kind of like... Uh, the temperance card, moderation, you know, you're learning to balance your world together. You're learning to balance your passions and all that stuff. So you're learning to <laughs> make everything all hunky-dory. So that's good. I actually like this reading and it was not, I didn't feel like it was too impersonal to the point where I couldn't share with you guys about it. So I was glad that I got to share that space with you guys, you know, some of my personal stuff and share it with you all. So there you go. So <laughs> any questions on the Victorian romantic that, uh, about my impressions of the Victorian romantic that you, I probably said that I was going to do a impressions on and didn't <laughs> got sidetracked or whatever. So anything that you all <laughs> have any questions on about the Victorian romantic uh, <laughs> tarot. Yeah, if I could talk today. I wish I could talk today. Maybe I should <laughs> click my heels together and start making a wish. All right. But the box is definitely turquoise. If anybody wants to know, the box is definitely turquoise and not blue. <laughs> Even though it looks very, very blue on the screen here. Hmm. Very, very nice. I really like the box here. I hope that I could uh, keep the girls out of my tarot decks. Um, they're two years old. <laughs> yeah, we need to do more live chats together for sure. Tiger's Abyss. And we actually got to start. Uh, I'm going to start have to block out some time together. To, you know, so blocking some time and trying to figure out some temperance in my life. Trying to figure it out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to edge my Bohemian Gothic in black i think that that's my next <laughs> oh my gosh i really like the big cards oh my goodness i'm gonna really like this deck with the big cards oh, i love that like some of these little details like his little face and things like that and with the boats and stuff i didn't i kind of got lost it was lost upon me some of that, those stuff that got lost upon me when I, in the smaller deck versus this bigger deck, all of a sudden these little details popped. Just pops right out. Like the sky colors really just pop and the Frankensteins and the, <laughs> the quirkiness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. Even though that the, I love the, how the small, well, um, Bohemian Gothic uh, depict the Bohemian Gothic. I just really, really love the details <laughs> in the big deck. All the vivid details in the big deck. It's really, really fun. 
<laughs> oh man. I want to edge this deck, but I don't like that thin black border as sometimes edging does do. So I'll have to see. I have to see because the sides are gray. And the back is kind of by uh, gray, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's really, really dark. I'm gonna shuffle my deck. It's definitely got a different card stock than the Victorian Romantic. This is more of a cardy card stock versus a uh, carbon core. I'm pretty sure the Victorian Romantic is carbon core just like the Terra Frog is. So this is more of a cardy card stock, kind of like the Mythical Creatures Tarot in a way. I think the Mythical Creatures Tarot's. Uh, yeah, they bragged about the. Cardi card stock in the Mythical Creatures Tarot. So this one feels more like that one. And so give it a really good shuffle. I actually got the fair, uh, Enchanted Fairy Tarot come in with Ian Daniels, a uh, Fairy Enchanted Oracle come in, and I didn't do a first impression of video of that, even though I really ought to, because it, it's a really beautiful deck. I just don't know how I will qu use it quite yet. And it's gorgeous, and it had all those uh, rose gold Guildings. And so let's see. Oh man. Just kind of doing an example three spread and see how I like it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very pretty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the sun card is absolutely funny with the omen child in it. Very, very beautiful. And this one has a funny quirkiness to it, too. Like, I was making fun of the Victoria Romantic, some of the quirkiness of the Victoria Romantic, <laughs> that this one really has, like, that sense of humor, quirkiness, too. Although I think all the Ballas decks does have its own funny sense of humor in their decks. Like the Alice Tarot, there's some laugh out loud cards, even though I don't think that was their intention. Um, I think there were some funny cards too in the Prague deck that always gets me. And there was also uh, a lot of cards in <laughs> what, what was the end of their deck that was just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe the quirkiness. But they all have their quirkiness. As I guess is my bottom line is they have their own quirky decks and this in their decks, and they have all their quirky little things. And I'm not really camera appropriate, but I guess I'll keep my camera down. <laughs> but <laughs> I was gonna say, oh my goodness, I could totally talk uh, for two days uh, for a few more minutes. So, but I think I'm gonna have to boot off here for a little bit. But we'll do more live chats, and I'll. Uh, get a <laughs> onto you guys, uh, talk to you guys more about doing live chats and uh, trying to get my life back together for doing more live chats. So where is my mouse? I have to stay alive. I can't find my mouse. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. Why is my mouse disabled? Shoot. Where is my other mouse? <laughs> all right i'm gonna have to plug it in or i'm gonna be live all day so i wonder how everybody else is doing how are you all doing Okay. Uh -oh. 
But yeah, something happened to my mouse. And it froze on me. All right. Well, unfortunately, I have to get going here. And I'll talk to you guys uh, more in another live chat. And I'll try to have another art, coffee, and tarot live chat real soon. And I actually got to schedule a day to do my art, coffee, and tarot live chat. I think I might do it more on the Friday since Kelly and Two Spirit, uh, not Two Spirit, Herman's Cave. Dang, and people with their name changes now. But yeah, <laughs> since Kelly and Hermit's Cave um, dominate Saturdays as live chat days, I have to figure out a time, whether it being Sundays, Friday evening, but it'll probably be more Friday mornings or something like that, where it's just me. And I have to figure out if I, you know, schedule block times and figure out what works best for me to do a uh, scheduled live chat days and scheduled li live chat times. <laughs> but I usually like the mornings for art, coffee, and tarot, but I probably would do it more in the evenings, even though it is coffee <laughs> you know, even though coffee's in the title so i don't know i'll have to play around with that a little bit more and try to schedule uh a time for that so i know that's one of my to-do lists but in the meantime i love you all and i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you next time bye